a happy, healthy, and blessed day to my beloved students. I am very happy and excited to see you all again today. As we start, let us be one in prayer as we ask for God's grace and guidance. I am requesting everyone to turn off your microphones as we pray. Almighty Father and ever-living God, we praise and glorify your name. Grant us an abundance of your wisdom. Thank you for the love and protection, especially during this time of pandemic. Bless us, Father, as we begin our class. Help us to focus our hearts and minds on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we think and listen. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. Lord, we thank you and praise you and let your will be done in our lives. We ask all this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, what a super califragilisticexpialidocious day to everyone. Or should I say, what a wonderful day. How is everyone? Doing good? Okay, wow. Now, in order for your attendance to be checked, I want you to drop an emoji that best represents your mood for today. Okay, you can drop them at our chat box. And I will be... Looking at them one by one. Okay, very nice. I can see a lot of emojis that are in happy face reactions and a lot of heart reactions at that. I can say that you are truly very happy and excited for our lesson for today, for our session. That, that makes me very happy as well. Okay, seeing you happy makes me happy as well. Okay, that's fantastic. And I hope everyone really is doing well since we are all just staying at our homes. I know times are tough, but it is good to always find ways to be happy and stay motivated. That's right. Now, as we speak about relaxation and happiness, I want everyone to enjoy and have fun while learning. With that being said, come and join me as we participate in this game. Okay, I know you're all familiar with this game. Okay, let's play. You know what, class? Life is like a game. Life is a battle. And in order for us to win the battle, we must be geared up with weapons. And of course, we must be holistically ready and prepared to face whatever challenges we may take along the way. Right? So today, class, we are going to enter a battlefield. On this battlefield, as mentioned earlier, we will be needing our weapons. And our greatest weapon for today will be the knowledge. Okay, so today, we're going to play the BOK or the Battle of Knowledge. Now, let's team up. This battle, of course, we definitely need our allies or our teammates. For this battle, we will have these team players to help us accomplish our mission. So you have me, yours truly. I'm your ally for sure. And of course, you students. We also have knowledge, wisdom, and experience on our side. Okay, let's start the game. Oh, wow. We already have our first um, challenge to take, which is... Guess the act. Okay, are you familiar with this one? That's good. So here's the procedure of the game. This game will be played individually. And you will try to guess what action is being described in the video that will be played later on. The player will type the answer on the chat box. And whoever got the correct answer first will earn a point. Okay, and the student who will get the most number of points or the most number of correct answers will receive an in incentive later on. Okay, are you ready? That's great. Let's start. 
Wow, Jasmine, that was fast. The correct answer is games. Next one. Wow, very good, Lester. Online games. Next one. Yes, that's right. The correct answer is chill. Very good, Lester. Again, two points for Lester now. Next. Hey, that's right. Music. One point for Jasmine. Next one. Oh, that was fast. Very good, Alma. The answer is sport. So we have Lester as the receiver of our incentive for today. Magnificent. Wow, I must say that I'm really impressed with your enthusiasm for today. Everyone is really trying to earn a point. It's very competitive. Okay, now class, with all of the concepts and terms that you have mentioned earlier in our game, what have you noticed now? Considering the videos, the actions that you've seen, and the words described, then what have you noticed? Yes, Jean? Okay, great. That's correct. The actions demonstrated in the video presentations are commonly done at home. Correct. Any other observations? What have you noticed? Yes, Lorraine. Oh, brilliant. According to Lorraine, she saw a lot of activities that are usually done when you have free time. Maybe Lorraine loves to do some of those activities when she has free time. Am I right, Lorraine? Okay, very good. Okay, with that being said, okay, I'm very much impressed with your ideas and it seems like you really are keen observers and very critical thinkers at that. Good job! Now, all of the words that you have mentioned earlier in the game, as well as the ideas that you have just shared with the class, has something to do with the heart of our discussion for today, which is recreation. Okay. Now, our mission for today is I want you to identify the different terms and concepts of recreation. Next is I want you to distinguish the different scopes of recreation. And lastly, appreciate the importance of recreation in day-to-day -day living. Okay, are you ready to confirm your mission now? Okay, that's great. Let us now define what is recreation. Okay, recreation is the use of time in various creative ways. It is a therapeutic refreshments, refreshment of one's body and mind. Okay, we also consider this recreation as a time or an activity for leisure. Okay, when we say leisure, what comes into your mind? What do you mean? What do we mean when we say the word leisure? What comes to your mind when you hear the word leisure? Yes, Nicole? That's right. Free time. Great. Leisure is the use of free time to do something for enjoyment. Okay? You know that the need, okay, the need to do something for recreation is an essential element of human biology and psychology. Recreational activities are often done for enjoyment, amusement, and pleasure, and are considered to be fun. Now, class, having said all of that, for you, okay, in your opinion, when is the best time for recreation? Hmm? When do you usually do recreational activities? Anyone? Okay, I usually do recreational activities during, yes, Keanu. That's right. Okay, Keanu thinks that the best time for recreation is during weekends or holidays because he has no classes. 
is away from any school works and responsibilities at that. Very good. How about the others? Yes, Abel. Oh, wow, Abel loves to do recreational activities when there are special occasions. Uh, I assume Abel also loves to go to different parties to have fun. Am I right, Abel? Okay, that's right. Hey, now, having said all of that, what do you think about a life without recreation? Okay, we have mentioned earlier that recreation are done for enjoyment, amusement, and pleasure. Now, what do you think about a life without it? What do you think a life would be without recreation? Okay, Cherish, raise your hand. Yes, dear. Wow, interesting. I agree. Life without recreation will make an individual unproductive. That's right. That is why we can say that recreation indeed plays a very important role in an individual's life. Now, let's dig deeper into this and let's now discuss about the importance of recreation. Okay, for the first one, physical health. Okay, a large part of recreation is physical in nature. Okay, a lot of these recreational activities that we are doing every day uh, are physical in nature, just like some sort of dances, games, and sports that we usually engage in, like playing basketball, playing volleyball, or other activities that require an effort of your physical body. Okay? Now, in what way do you think does the recreation helps in the betterment of your physical health? In what way does it help? Anyone? Okay, Abel, yes? Okay, recreation helps because when you are doing these activities, you are making yourself or making your body active. That is very good, Abel. Okay, let's now jump to the next one, which is the psychological health. Okay, leisure and recreation can relax and recharge the overworked individual. So we all know that frustration is a product or a result of mental stress. So doing satisfying and worthwhile activities that can relax a tired mind during our spare time can help us overcome this frustration. When we overcome frustration, it makes our psychological health well, or it makes us psychologically healthy, okay? Okay, can you remember? Still, the concepts that we have discussed earlier, can you still follow? Yes, okay, let's see about that. Now, I want you to identify the word being described in this video. It refers to the use of time in various creative ways. Oh, that's right. The answer is recreation. Very good. How about this one? This is considered as an importance of recreation because a large part of recreation is physical in nature. That's right. Physical health. Wow. Impressive. You are really listening. Okay, let's move on to the next one, which is the social well-being. Okay. Recreation can be a source of happiness and satisfaction. Okay, we all know that a happy person can easily adjust to his or her peers, right? When you have your friends around you, you can easily adjust. So doing such recreational activities can help in boosting your social well-being because it helps you create fun memories, fun activities together with your peers or with other people while socializing with them. Okay, it also helps and restraining or controlling delinquency or lessens the problems of the community as well 
or these organizations, and it also offers varied opportunities for better social relations. Okay, let's move on to the next one, which is emotional stability. People who balance work and recreation find their life fulfilling and their existence more meaningful. Okay, now, in what way does recreation help in your emotional stability? Anyone? How does recreation help in your emotional stability? Yes, Ramil? Oh, when he does things that make him happy through those activities, that makes him emotionally stable and stress-free. Very good observation. Very good idea. Okay. And now the last one is occupational. So recreational activities usually translate into monetary benefits for people who are engaged in businesses. So we all know the examples of this. And I am sure that once in your life, you have experienced um, engaging with this such recreational activities, just like um, having fun in amusement parks, internet cafes, gyms, arcades. So the proceed we need monetary benefits for this, or we give monetary benefits for the owners of these businesses, okay? Because they offer recreational activities for us to enjoy. In exchange, we must give them monetary benefits for them to enjoy as well, okay? You understand? Now, class, do you know that recreation has different scopes? Yes, I am sure a lot of these activities are very close to your hearts. But maybe you just didn't notice that these activities are already the what we call the scopes of recreation. Okay, for the first scope of recreation is games and sports. First, let us um, differentiate these terms, okay? I know this is closely related to each other, but there is a remarkable difference between the two. Okay, what do you think is it? Anyone? What's the difference between a game and a sport? Yes, Lester. Brilliant. That's correct. A sport is more competitive in nature because there is a rule, standard rule set for that. On the other hand, a game is less competitive in nature because the rules of it can be modified depending on the participants of the game. That is very impressive, Lester. Okay, the examples of this one on their games and sports are playing sports, it's like basketball, chess, playing hopscotch or pico in Filipino, playing volleyball, and playing board games such as Twister. It's a board game that requires you to move and twist your body, right? If you're familiar with that. Okay, next scope of recreation is music activities. So examples under this scope is playing musical instruments, listening to music in an online platform, for example, Spotify, and singing in a karaoke okay music activities refers to the practices or activities using any kind of music accompaniment to release stress relax and for entertainment purposes as well okay great next one is the technology-based activities so the examples under the scope are surfing the internet just like scrolling through Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, playing at the arcades, playing online games such as Valorant. What else do you have? That's right, Mobile Legends, others. How about the others? Can you give me an example as well? Okay, right. Yeah, playing Tetris. That's old school, but that's a lot of fun to play, I guess. <laughs> Okay, next one, we have the fitness activities. The examples under this fitness activities are brisk walking, 
working out at the gym and cycling. So any activity that requires you requires a lot of effort from your physical body as a form of exercise or performing exercises is considered under the scope, which is fitness activities. Next one, we have the arts and crafts activities. So this activities refers to any activity that involves artistic skills and imagination, such as drawing or sketching or cooking as well. And of course, cross-stitching that is very famous among our mothers or our titas. Okay. The next one, we have nature and outdoor activities. So example under the scope are camping, hiking, and swimming. So anything that has something to do with the nature is considered under the scope. Okay, last but definitely not the least, commercial and home entertainment activities. So example under the scope are watching Netflix, or what we call also Netflix and chill, or watching cinemas, or watching movies at the cinemas. Okay, I know you all experience, and I'm sure you miss doing these kinds of activities at the mall, right? For, for now, you just have to stay at home and be safe, okay? Now, I want you to identify which scope of recreation this falls under. Okay, I will play a video and you have to identify or distinguish which scope of recreation does it fall to. Okay, are you ready? Okay. Yes, Denmark? Very good. Arts and crafts. How about this one? That's right, fitness activities. How about the next one? Wow, okay, nature and outdoor activities. Brilliant, next. How about this one? Okay, that's correct. Very good, games and sports. I'm very impressed you're really listening and listening attentively and participating in our discussion for the day very good class okay now class do you know that these recreational activities have a strong impact in our lives yeah i can see you agreeing oh we have found a crate what is this crate let's see this is the crate of wisdom. Okay, what is this crate of wisdom? This crate of wisdom will provide you with additional information and equip you with realizations, knowledge, and deeper understanding. Okay, I'm very much interested with this one. Do you want to open the crate now? If that's so, I need you to tap your cameras to open the crate of wisdom. Okay, you, you have, just have to, ta to, to tap your cameras to open. Wow, okay. In this crate of wisdom, we have the jar, a fine sand, rocks, and pebbles. Okay, we will try to put inside the rocks. Is the jar full now? Yes, okay, let's now try to put the pebbles. How about now? Is the jar full? Yes, okay, now we're going to put the fine sand inside the jar. Can you tell me if the jar is full now? Okay, how many times have you said that it is full but we keep on adding more into it? This jar represents the time in our lives. The rocks represent our major priorities in life while the pebbles represents the less important things in life and the fine sand represents the things that we do for leisure and pleasure. In its proper order, everything fits just fine. But if the order of these things were put differently inside the jar, there would be no space for more important things to do in your life anymore. This complements now with our main topic for today, which is recreation. 
we only do these activities or these recreational activities, as we've said earlier, during our free time. So we must always put a deeper emphasis on our priorities first before doing anything else. Yes, I know. Recreation is indeed a very important part of our lives. It plays a very big role in our lives. It makes our life complete and happy. But as they say always, it's just a matter of time management and priorities. Do you understand, class? Can you now confidently say that you appreciate recreation? Okay, wow. Let's see about that now. I want you to access this link. Okay, I will send you the link. All you have to do is answer a question that is attached to it. So there is a question attached to it, which is, how is recreation significant in your day-to-day -day living as an individual? Okay, you just have to type and put your answers on our Padlet link. You have to access the link now. I have already shared it to you. I can see a lot of students are already accessing it. Okay. You're already typing. Some of your classmates are already typing. So you can just post, post your answers on our Padlet link and express what you know about this question. Later on, I will be reading some of your outputs. Okay, I can see a lot of students answering now. Simply signifies now how deep, okay, how much did you learn from our discussion for today? Okay, let's see. Wow, there are already a lot of responses here in our Padlet link. Let's see. Let's read the work of Reynald. Recreational activities help a person not only physically, but also in reducing stress and anxiety, especially in our current situation. Personally, when I do my recreational activities, such as playing games and exercising, I stopped overthinking and I can relax. Wow, can you see how important is recreation in your day-to-day -day living as an individual? Okay, I am very happy and I'm very impressed with your performance today. I am very happy that I can see you responding and participating in our discussion for today. And I can say that you really do, you really did learn a lot from our discussion for today. Okay, now for our assignment, I want you to create an infographic showing the concept of recreation. Okay, for, this is the criteria. Your work for this assignment will be sent via Google Classroom. With that, our mission is now complete. And thank you, everyone, for actively participating in this game. I hope you have learned a lot from me today. And surely, I have learned a lot from you, too. Okay. See you again next time. Thank you very much once again. Be safe always. Bye-bye.